Currently, the Chicago Blackhawks are the worst team in the NHL, but I want to win a Stanley Cup, so I'm going to combine the worst teams in the NHL until I win one. Although these teams are at the bottom of the league, we're still going to have a bunch of amazing players on this team. So I'm going to go ahead and simulate halfway through the season, and we'll see how these scrubs are doing. At the halfway point, the scrubs are sitting with a 17-16-6 and record, and we're 25th in the entire league. That should be no surprise. Well, Seth Jones is leading the entire way with 6 goals and 27 assists for 33 points. That's how you know this team's not going to see any success. Seth Jones is leading the way over Patrick Kane. Yeah, this team's toast. When the season came to an end, we're going to be sticking at the 20th fifth spot is we're gonna finish with a 36 35 and 11 record well patty kane he's stepping it up in the second half of the season he's finishing with 37 goals and 33 assists for 70 points well nathan mckinn he's gonna lead the entire league in points with 108 and linus allmark he's gonna lead all goal tenders and wins he's picking up 48 while posting a 914 save percentage and 254 goals a game in the postseason the washington capitals are gonna take down the la kings in six games to hoist this down the cup alexander ovechkin he was absolutely incredible in the postseason in 22 games he's gonna be picking up 18 goals and 11 assists for 29 points this dude was absolutely locked in and they're definitely not winning this down the cup with him and Darcy Kemper he's got some incredible numbers as well 16 wins a 910 save percentage and a 258 goals against congrats on back-to-back -back Stanley Cups heading into season number two we're going to be adding three players from the Anaheim Ducks and the way I set these rules up I can add one player for each position so I can add one forward one defenseman and one goaltender and the forward I'm going to be going with is Troy Terry and the defenseman it should be no surprise it's going to be John Klingberg and in between the pipes we're going to have John Gibson one of the best goaltenders in the league and if this man had a bit of support around him he would easily be able to win a Stanley Cup but right now he has the Anaheim Ducks in front of him so he's not getting any help but it looks like the Sacramento Scrubs are going to be supporting John Gibson even less than the Anaheim Ducks at the halfway point of 15 19 and 5 record and we're 30th in the entire league Troy Terry's looking all right at the halfway point he's got five goals and 23 assists for 28 points not great numbers by any means but look at this team no one's performing well and John Gibson 11 wins a 903 save percentage and 310 goals against the sad thing is these are currently better numbers than what you're posting in real life yeah this man needs a bit of support free John Gibson at the end of the year the Scrubs are finishing with a pretty similar record with a 34 36 and 12 record while Patty Kane once again is leading the way he's got 83 points consisting of 44 goals and 39 assists while John Gibson 29 wins a 903 save percentage and a 306 goals against considering what you had in front of you those are pretty solid numbers taking a look at the entire league Leon Drysdale is leading the way he's picking up 43 goals and 58 assists for 101 points while Vanacek he's looking absolutely incredible 45 wins a 912 save percentage at 278 goals against I can confidently say this is the first time I've ever seen New Jersey do well in their first year like right now they're looking pretty solid in real life but in EA simulation I rarely ever see New Jersey do good in year one but I guess EA simulation decided to step in as New Jersey is going to fall in the first round to the Toronto Maple Leafs New Jersey let Toronto get out of the first round that's tough that's real tough but you know what's tougher than this the fact that the Buffalo Sabres still have more subscribers than me I want to pass the Sabres and subscribers by the new year and with 76% of the people still not subscribed to the channel I don't know if we'll be able to do it. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn notifications on, and let's pass the Buffalo Sabres. Mark Scheifele, he's going to lead all postseason scores. 12 goals, 22 assists, 34 points, and I didn't even realize this until now. Austin Matthews in 13 games had 12 goals and 12 assists for 24 points, and Mitch Marner, 3 goals and 19 assists for 22 points. These boys did everything they could, and they still fell in the second round. I guess this team's never seen any success. And Freddie Anderson, congrats on the Stanley Cup, my guy. 16 wins a 9-12 save percentage and a 271 goals against. Heading into year 3, we're going to be adding some stars from the Columbus Blue Jackets. Of course, Johnny Hockey's got to be one of those guys. For the defense, Zach is going to be a massive help for this team. Of course, in between the pipes, John Gibson's still going to be the guy, but Elvis Merzlikens, that's going to be a solid backup for us. It looks like all this team was missing was the Columbus Blue Jackets, because at the halfway point, 29-8-2, and, and we're first in the entire league. Never would have expected that. So it looks like all this team was missing was a superstar playmaker, and that's exactly what Johnny Goudreau is. 11 goals, 36 assists, 47 points, and we can't ignore what Patrick Kane's doing. He's got 34 goals in 39 games right now. If we keep this up, we might be able to win a stand the cup in year number three when the season came to an end the team's still finishing strong but we're going to drop to second in the entire league a 54 23 and 5 record i got no issues with that this team's looking elite right now so our man patrick kane of course he's going to be leading the way once again 58 goals 39 assists 97 points an absolutely elite season from him and john gibson he turned it up this season 41 wins a 919 save percentage at 241 goals against those are definitely stanley cup numbers the 97 points that patty kane had are going to be enough to lead the entire league but he's going to be tied with two other guys nathan mckinnon's probably 97 and so is brad marchand when it came to goaltenders, Connor Halbuck's going to be the guy. He's picking up 46 wins while posting five shots with a 918 save percentage and 250 goals a game. With Sacramento having the incredible season they just had, we're going to be making the playoffs, and in the first round, we're taking on the Nashville Predators. But in game six, we're going to close out in a dominant 8 1 win. And in the second round, we're going to be taking on the Dallas Stars, who just swept the Winnipeg Jets. So these boys aren't messing around. Similar to Nashville, Dallas is putting up a bit of a fight, but we're going to be taking them down in six games as well. So here we are in the conference finals, way earlier than I was expected, but we're going to be taking on the Colorado Avalanche. 
But I have a hard time believing we can take down this Colorado team. But I'm going to keep it a stack. We put up a way better fight than I was expecting. We took this series all the way to seven games. And in OT, Colorado is going to pot the winner. And we're falling in the conference finals. But the success we saw in this postseason is definitely a good sign for the future. All right, this playoff series doesn't count because the Leafs just beat the Colorado Avalanche. And clearly that would never happen. Austin Matthews, you put up pretty solid numbers. 33 points in 25 games, consisting of 17 goals and 16 assists. But those numbers aren't as good as Patrick Kane's. In 19 games, 12 goals, 12 assists for 24 points. This man was locked in. Since we're here, we we might as well look at Samsonov's numbers. 16 wins, a 907 save percentage, and 284 goals against. With Toronto winning a Stanley Cup, that's how you know this is a simulation. So I think what should be the biggest surprise of this video is Arizona's fourth last in the entire league. How is this team successful? They literally have a bunch of players that nobody else wants. Of course, I'm not talking about Clayton Keller, Jacob Chicker, and Nick Schmaltz, and all the good guys. I'm talking about like the Nick Richies and the Andrew Lads. How is this team not dead last? And speaking of players like Clayton Keller and Jacob Chicker, that's who we're going to be adding. Keller should be a great help to the offense. With Chicker, he's going to be able to hold it down for the defense. At the halfway point, the scrubs are looking not too bad with a 25-13-1 record and we're sitting fourth in the entire league. Well, Clayton Coward, he's having himself a decent season. 32 points in 39 games so far. Five goals and 27 assists. He's holding it down for the second line. When the season came to an end, we're stepping it up in the second half. We're finishing the 49-24-9 record and that's good enough for second in the entire league. Patrick Kane, like usual, he's going to be leading the way for the team. 88 points consisting of 44 goals and 44 assists. While John Gibson's not putting up his great of numbers this season. 33 wins with a 9-14 save percentage and 251 goals against. But that's completely fine because Merzlikens held it down as the backup. 16 wins, 3 losses, 1 OT loss, a 9-12 save percentage, and a 261 goals against. If Peter Mrazek was the backup, we probably wouldn't have made the playoffs. For the first time in this video, Connor McDavid is going to lead the league in points. 41 goals and 66 helpers for 107 points. While Freddie Anderson, he's going to lead all goaltenders and wins with 40, while posting a 9-11 save percentage and a 263 goals against. Once again, the scrubs are going to be making the playoffs, and this time around, we're taking on the St. Louis Blues. But the odds of us beating this absolutely elite team, very low. But there's just no way we're able to beat an elite team such as the Blues. Lose. It looks like St. Louis is going to gift this team a playoff series. We're going to take them down in seven games. Obviously, this would never happen in real life because the St. Louis Blues are a well-oiled machine. So after taking down the St. Louis Blues, none of the teams we face after this will be nearly as competitive. And we got the Winnipeg Jets in the second round. This should be light work for us. So that's a clean sweep right there. Yeah, not really sure what to say about that one. We got shut out in game three and shut out in game four, and we allowed 11 goals in that span. Yikes. And then Winnipeg goes on to win the Stanley Cup, only losing one more game after that. So this team went 16 and three in the postseason. I guess you could say they're pretty solid. Okay, there was no way this team succeeded. Lucas Reichel was our second leading scorer in the postseason. He picked up five points in 11 games. No one on this team was close to playing good whatsoever. Kyle Connor, incredible numbers. Eight goals, 21 assists, 29 points in 19 games. But Joe Pavelski, I can't forget about you. In 16 games, eight goals and 17 assists for 25 points. Keep up the fantastic work, my guy. Wasn't expecting that from you. Oh yeah, and Connor Halbuck, 16 wins, 931 save percentage, and 227 goals against. Congrats, my guy. Woohoo. Also, the only two shouts he got were against our team. You hate to see it. You really do. So the next team we're going to be picking up some players from are going to be the San Jose Sharks. And honestly, they got some pretty solid young guys. Timo Meyer is going to be a great addition to the forward court. And playing on the second line right beside Clayton Keller, he's definitely going to be picking up some goals. And for the defense, Eric Carlson, he's back in his prime now. Never would have expected that at 32. But here he is, and he's ready to help lead the defense. And we also got a new backup this season, Capo Kakinen. He's an 85 overall. Elvis Merzlikin was an 84. I don't care what their numbers are like. I'm looking strictly at overall. And 85 is higher than 84. So I'm going to assume he's better. I'm pretty sure that's solid logic. So at the halfway point, the scrubs are doing what they normally do. 25-13-1, they're fifth in the entire league. While Timu Meyer, 18 goals and 10 assists for 28 points in 39 games, I was expecting a bit more from you. I'm just going to keep it 100. But the regular season numbers that you put up don't mean anything. Sacramento, they're going to finish second in the entire league with a 51-29-2 record, and we're ready to make a run in the postseason. Patrick Kane, another decent season from you. No surprise that you're leading the way. 44 goals and 42 assists for 86 points. While John Gibson, 37 wins, a 914 save percentage, and 263 goals against. But once again, the backup's numbers are looking elite. Capo Kakinen, 14 wins, including three shouts, a 929 save percentage, and a 208 goals against. If our backups keep putting up numbers like these, Gibson might be losing his starting spot. Looking at the league leaders, it should be no surprise that Connor McDavid is going to be leading the way once again with 104 points, while Alexander Gorgiev is going to have an incredible season. He's picking up 50 wins with four shouts, including a 908 save percentage and 273 goals against. Honestly, with those save percentage numbers and goals against, the fact that you won 50 games with that save percentage and that goals against is actually pretty surprising to me, because it's not like those numbers are good by any means. But as we know, the regular 
regular season means absolutely nothing. We're in the playoffs, and that's when it matters most. We're taking on the Dallas Stars, and it's time for the Scrubs to get a Stanley Cup. John Gibson's absolutely showing out in the first round. We're taking the Dallas Stars down in six games, but in every game we won, Gibson didn't allow more than two goals. If he can continue to put up those numbers, then this team has a real shot at Stanley Cup. But now we got our toughest matchup yet, and we got the Colorado Avalanche. Not only is John Gibson locking in, but this team's locking in. We're going to be taking games one, two, and three, and with a 3-0 series lead, you know we're not folding that. We're going to steal game six, and we're headed to the Conference Finals. And the Conference Finals, we got the Edmonton Oilers, and literally the only thing I'm concerned about is Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl. Outside of those two guys, this team has absolutely nothing. But the high-scoring duo of Edmonton's definitely going to put up a good fight, but John Gibson, he's going to step it up when we need it the most. He's picking up a game seven shot while we're potting six goals, and here we are at the Stanley Cup Final. The Sacramento Scrubs is going to be taking on the Carolina Hurricanes. We already know what this Carolina team's comprised of. We've seen them win a few Stanley Cups in the past, but now it's time for us to get ours. And that's exactly what we're doing. After being down 3-1 in the series, the Scrubs are going to win three straight games in game five, six, and seven, and we're hoisting the Stanley Cup. Taking a look at all postseason scores, it should be no surprise that Patrick Kane's going to be dominating for us. 17 goals, 16 assists, 33 points. I think Patrick Kane less than scoring every single season and every single postseason. This guy's definitely the most valuable player to our team, but I shouldn't say that because John Gibson, 16 wins, a 9-10 save percentage, and 264 goals against. You held it down in net when we need you most, and you proved that you're one of the most elite goaltenders in the league. Congrats on the Stanley Cup. You deserve it.